Well, today we are looking out for your children's safety in schools and daycares after recent carbon monoxide incidents around the country. One incident at a daycare in Philadelphia last week sent more than two dozen kids to the hospital. Just today, a carbon monoxide leak at a school in Kansas City sent six students and two adults to the hospital. A CBS News investigation revealed Pennsylvania and Missouri are among many states that do not require schools and child care centers to have a CO detector. Jonah Kaplan did some checking on Minnesota laws and what's very different in Wisconsin. It's long been known as the silent killer, which is why the message from fire marshals always loud and clear. Carbon monoxide detectors could save your life. Carbon monoxide is the odorless, tasteless gas. Uh, you can't detect it on your own until symptoms uh, begin. So you need that alarm for early warning. Just this past weekend, investigators blaming a CO leak for killing a Twin Cities couple on a hunting trip in Mille Lacs County. Last year, CO killing a family of seven in Moorhead. Now there's a nationwide alarm after a broken heater led to a carbon monoxide leak inside a Pennsylvania daycare center. There were no detectors inside, and Pennsylvania law didn't require them. As of March 2020, the new fire code here in the state of Minnesota generally requiring preschools, daycares, and schools to have carbon monoxide detectors either in every classroom or place a detector by a fuel burning appliance, a source of where CO could be coming from. That's a boiler room or that's near the furnace or an HVAC. There is though some fine print. In Minnesota, those new building codes, the fire codes, it only applies to new construction. It's not retroactive. And in Wisconsin, their carbon monoxide detector laws, it only applies to residential settings. It has nothing about schools. That means if there are CO detectors at schools like Wooddale Community Nursery School, it's of their own initiative. I just think people should do things that keep them safe. I don't know why you wouldn't. For parents, the fire marshal school inspection team offering them many good questions to take to their child's school administration. I would ask what type of system you have, where are the detector locations, and most importantly, where does that alarm signal go? Jonah Kaplan, WCCO4 News. Tonight on the CBS Evening News, Nora O'Donnell investigates carbon monoxide detector requirements to keep kids safe. That's coming up at 530 here on WCCO.